Oh, yeah. well. What you got there, them uh, Jordan 13s, bro? Yeah. I said, I'm almost <laughs> done. Don't show my feet. I'm almost done fucking with them. Alright, so this is uh, interview two. The Jazz and Party. So, shit. We got to know you last time. Now yes, let's sir. get real. Let's get the raw, uncut truth. Ooh. About fentanyl. It's real. It's real as it gets. Everybody's dying out here. I mean, really, I'm going to tell you the truth. It really separated the men from the boys. You know what I'm saying? The dumbasses, we did them all out. Because anybody who, who was a hog on it, anybody who would just try to take, you know, take too much, they all died. And <laughs> that's the truth. Right? Am I lying? Mm, no, we're not lying. But also lots of family. We've lost... There's been innocent casualties too. Family members. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, there been some innocent people died too. Just didn't, you know, had nothing to do with it. But for the most part, a lot of people are just they out of there. Yeah. What is it? Uh, how has it affected you? And like, how, how have you overcome death? And, and, and all that, I mean, because just like you said, that shit's real and it's taking out the, the it's weeding out the weak or, or the, It's taking out who, anybody who want to just... Anybody who wants to play, bye-bye. That's it, that's so how it. how have you avoided that? Shit, tell the truth, I don't shoot up no more, man. I, don't, I still have to need her alone, you know. I'm be honest with you, I don't, I don't even do heroin no more, you know. I stopped all that. I just smoke a little bit of fatty. Takes care of my problem. But I mean, there really ain't no heroin no more. No, there's not. There's not. But I mean, I mean, there really is. I mean, you know, I'm plugged in. You know, you need to come get me. Let me know. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my people still got it. Shit, they stay on. The um, fact that you stopped shooting up, I, I think, is probably why you're still alive. Yeah, because I was, you remember that, I was in the hospital, my leg fucked up, I mean, abscesses everywhere, you know. That, the, the, the heroin was a dirty game. That shit had me fucked up, like, had me real fucked up. And, and thanks to my boy, saving me, you know. But, but this is too, you know, we've had multiple family members die from this. Multiple mm -hmm. people are dying, everyday people are dying. Rest in peace, Anna Davila. If you're not, um... Yeah, young. On Mother's Day, she died. Man, a mother, the, mother uh, too. Um, found her brain dead at the red light. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard to um, to see all my people and all my friends. There's only a short group of us left. I say maybe out of all, out of at the, out of thirty of us close friends that stuck together, there's maybe about. Not even ten left. Last year was probably like five of us. And say out of people that are, you, you know, uh, the, the fiends that are out there, even more, even more so died. And um, <clears throat> damn, Trailer White just died. Yeah, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have an idea of the ones that are gonna go next, like because of? of how they were st still roll, like the ones that are still banging it or... or Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you could, you could kind of get an idea of who's gonna be next, you know? Not, really you can't the pinpoint the, it. The look of look the, the draw, draw, man, <laughs> look at the draw. Yeah, cause really, just a hot batch could come in and take out everybody. Exactly. The leftovers, everybody's leftover. It's kind of like COVID. That this fit now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said it left lot, it fucking, it left all the cockroaches. But you say, you said that's the opposite of me. I said it, it, it took away the real ones and it left the cockroaches. You know, not all of us, cause I'm left. I'm not a cockroach, but I feel like it left a lot of cockroaches out here. You know, cockroaches survive through anything. Yeah, there's some of them dumbass niggas just survive through everything. Yep. <laughs> I know a couple of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it took out. One of the persons I never thought I would take out, you know. My nigga Razor, man. 
Rest in peace, Razor, man. Mm -hmm. That's my dog, man. And, and several, you know, but yeah. it's just gonna keep happening. I, I feel like they finally found a way to kill us off faster, you know? Yeah. Same with the, with the COVID. Man. Sometimes I wonder if it, if it's if it's government made to uh, to fade us out, to fade us out because it's absolutely. taking us, it's taking us in mass numbers. I, I'm I'm gonna have to say absolutely it is in mass numbers. It, it's it's most definitely. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I mean population control. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean. that's why they don't even mess with us. They don't mm -hmm. even care. They just you, you gonna die off. They don't mm -hmm. give a shit. You know, you stay where you stay, you do what you do, you die back there in them woods, and, and that's the that's how they're weeding us out. Because there's so many tents in Austin, you don't see that many tents anymore. It's not because they put them in hotels, it's because they're dead. <laughs> For real. Yeah. They're gone. Um, it wasn't too long ago before we did our last interview. Has has any anything changed since then? or? You, are you guys still running, you know, r uh, ripping and running and all that? Ripping and running? I ain't gonna running. lie to you. My girl been take care of me. She know. Ripping yeah. and running. She does that. It's hard. It's hard out here. Um, I ask God for forgiveness every day for what I do. That's all I know. I'm a good person. Um, yeah, me for sure. But I know since our last interview, at least, Seven people have passed since then. Seven more people. It's crazy. There is, um, and the count is just going. It's going and going and going. That they was like stopping. three or four weeks ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven people, three or four and weeks Trailer's ago. Trailer's wife. Trailer's wife. A good friend of just all yesterday. Ours. Right. With Kim. Rest in peace, Kim. In a, in a, what, like a five, six, seven block radius? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's all, it's all in this one from, from uh, 2nd Street on to 7th Street. Mm-hmm. This little block, that block right there. This is where people are dying. Minorities. Right it's the east side. Minorities. Figured a way to kill the. Person. And like I said, they're they're leaving now. us. They're they're not leaving us alone because they're being nice. They're leaving us alone because they're they they're they're letting us kill ourselves off. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They're letting us kill ourselves off. They just found an easier way. Jails are overpopulated. People are overpopulated. Crime is out the roof. Um, so what better than to send this drug in and just let us die back there? Never die back there. When they die, they go back there and they get them, carry them out in a white sheet, and it's done. You don't hear about them again. Yep. Um. Are, are you still sh shooting? Oh. No, I'm cleaning out my methadone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is that something you think you're gonna ever do, Potty? Methadone? <laughs> yeah, I was on methadone. Well, duh, but you know. <laughs> you gonna make that choice again, or? Uh, you you know, to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind. You know, I wouldn't mind. I know it'd be a, the best step for me and my progress. I worry about him. Recovery. I worry about him going. You know, his brother died. You know, There's after throwing it, that's when the death started to really roll. You know, I swear, after Thornis's death, it was just mass deaths after that. And uh, in, in his family, including mm -hmm. uh, Wheezy, died right up there. Mm -hmm. And his sister, that, that's three, three of the same siblings, gone right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, um, what's, yeah, are you so guys? So I, I worry about him and I try to stick by his side and take as much as I can take and endure, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. This he don't make anything better because it just makes everybody a little bit more crazier. Everybody's running around crazy. You know, um, just gotta try to stay as safe as we can and, um. Shoot safe, go to the harm. <laughs> Harm reduction, help out. They give out free rigs, pipes, bolos, whatever your preference of drug. They gonna help you out so you can shoot safe with it. 
You know, they give you whatever you need, food, yeah, whatever, you clothes. You don't, Thirty-one you don't day bus pass. People dying uh, from just uh, wounds. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you know things shit like that. From to, injecting, to you know, that's how Tony's died. Was Tony's was from an abscess that uh, never, on his arm, and then it spread. It, it spread to his heart, septic, right? It went to his heart. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, mm. What was it called? Uh, I'm not sure, but it, it started in his arm. He went septic, and then fluid went around his heart. And this happened within 24 hours. He, I just day. talked to my brother on the phone, man. It's so sad, man. Thanksgiving Day, and he was like, "Bro, what's up, now, man? I couldn't talk to him. I got caught up on my, you know. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of teared up a little bit because I ain't used to see my brother with the stuff yeah, in his nose. We see him on the phone, and we were thinking, uh, you know, it hurt me. Thanksgiving. Uh, and uh, his sister left, and two minutes later, his brother-in-law comes rushing down and says, Tony está muerto, and we're like, what? I was like, you better not be playing. We just seen him on the phone. I just seen him laying in the hospital bed on his phone. And we went up to the hospital, and sure enough, he was mm -hmm. gone. Did that wasn't an overdose. That was from a, the, from an abscess. He was septic. Uh -huh. But it did go to his heart, right? It, uh, he collected fluid around his heart. And uh, isn't that what happened to... Your cousin Joe as well. It was in his heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy how that shit spreads like that, man. Like this, man. Within 24 hours, yeah. He's gone. I looked. Like I seen my brother on, you know, on the phone, you know, camera phone or whatever, video, you know. He smiled. Uh, he smiled. He's like, bro, don't worry about it. You know, I'm, I see. I see in a little bit. You know, I see in a little bit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He never made it to the dinner table. You know. Didn't he? Was he out for a couple of days first, like in a coma? So I'm saying he was there for a few days. That's why they couldn't. I don't understand how they couldn't. They couldn't. How a doctor yeah. couldn't got in there and say my brother. If, if you know, come on, man. If you there for a few days, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Man, he was there for one day, baby. Two days. And very fast. But still, man, they could have called a doctor. And what it is, is doctors were all off from fucking. It's that hospital that seen the, the new one down there. That's where they take all the homeless people. The doctors were all out on fucking. That's where everybody's uh, dying uh, at. That's where everybody's dying. Thanksgiving turkey dinner. So my brother's life didn't matter that much that day, I guess. Well, so tell me, t take me through that. I remember you telling me the story. I mean, because he, he was trying to ride it out like we all all do, mm -hmm. you know, until the shit starts to subside and you can drain it yourself and move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, well, he, he but didn't, it didn't work out like that for him. So he was a big ass Mexican. You remember how he was? Mm -hmm. So his arm, he had it on his arm. Uh, he got he big. Me, he told me that morning. We didn't even know. We no, I walked out that morning. He said he was sick. I thought he meant he was dope sick. I was like, I'll be, and I felt bad because I was like, I'll be back, bro. I'm just gonna go to the method and I got you. I didn't know he meant he was sick, sick. Mm -hmm. I come back and uh, he was, you know, in his little tent and. I'm laying in the room with him, and he comes in. He's like, "Hey, can I lay with y'all?" And that right there was a sign. Mm -hmm. And uh, I fell in. He had a fever, so I go to H E B and I get Gatorade, a, a water. I get uh, fruit for him. I get uh, Tylenol, uh, Motrin, uh, everything to keep him well, you know. And I go back, and he's laying down, fighting in the bed, and you know he's drinking and eating, and he's sitting there for about. He was sitting there for about an hour, and then he went to uh, his tent. And then five hours later, he started yelling Paddy's name, and Paddy goes, uh, he, he Paddy sends me in there. And he's like, Jazz, he, he didn't even know what his name was. He was like, I gotta go, I was like, I gotta go to the hospital. And Thonis, you know, Thonis don't wanna go to no hospital. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna call your mom. So I, I go, and he's like, I, I need to fix. I was like, okay, so he has me fix him up his stuff, and then I knew he was real sick when he goes like this. He turns around and he pulls his pants down for me to just muscle him in the butt. Mm. So I muscled him in the butt. And then uh, I called his mom. I was like, you need to get here now and come pick him up. Something's wrong with Thonis. really wrong with him. He started going crazy, man. Talking crazy. Mm -hmm. Like it's a, He didn't know who he was. He yeah. couldn't put on his socks and shoes. Didn't you say that you walked in and he said that he was already dead? No, he told me. He, he, said, said, he looked at me and said, bro, hey, he Jazz. Said, why? Why didn't you tell me that I was dead? I said, bro, what do you mean you're dead? If you're dead, I ain't dead. He goes, nah, Jazz, I've been dead for a long time already. 
You think he wanted to lay with y'all because he wanted to, you know, he felt like, he, you know, whether he knew it or not, he he felt like death was coming and he wanted to be around the people he loved. For real, for real, for uh, real. Yeah, he felt real sick. We, we'd been living with each other, following each other for the last four years. Yeah. And he throwing his body everywhere. Yeah. Man, I miss my brother. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace, Tony. Well, uh, any, uh, anything you guys, anything special you guys want to uh, finish it off with? <clears throat> Yeah, um, we got anything you need. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, stay safe, shoot safe, go to the harm, pick up all the utensils you need, anything and everything. <clears throat> all right, Potty and Jazz, number two. Go hit a lick. Internet superstars, we gonna uh, get y'all. Uh, here in the next in the next few months, we'll do uh, interview number three. Number Life thrice. is real. Life is real. So like I said, this is all we gotta say. Below. Don't stop going.